Hello and welcome to this new tutorial on EMGU CV. Today I'll be talking about the adaptive thresholding. In the previous video I showed you the simple thresholding and also thresholding and in this tutorial we'll be talking about the adaptive thresholding. So this was simple thresholding. Now how can we do adaptive thresholding? By adaptive thresholding, we mean that instead of using a global threshold for whole image, uh, the adaptive thresholding calculates uh, the threshold value for each block. So we need to define an area or the block size 3, 5, or 7 in EMGU CV. Then it calculates the threshold value for that block and applies the thresholding on that block only. So let's do that. First, let me remove this line we don't need it and let me comment it also in uh, cv invoke dot adaptive threshold here uh, we need a little change in the parameters the input uh, uh, image will be the same that is img gray and i want the output is the img binarize then the max value let's say i want 255 and then we have to select adaptive threshold dot type there are two types that gaussian c are the mean c by mean c means it calculates the mean value as a threshold uh, inside that window and if we use the gaussian c it calculates uh, applies a gaussian uh, weighted average that is the as you can say the weighted average for it so let me see with the gaussian c and the threshold type is let's say i want the binary block size let's say i want a block size to be five by five and this the last parameter is something that is subtracted from the mean threshold values so let me say it is 0, 0.0 and i want to display this output in the uh, picture box too so let me put it here and let's check the output so the output must be different from the global binarization algorithm and then click binarize so you can see so there is huge difference between the two outputs so you can experiment with the other one as well for example let me check with the mean c and then apply open this same image and file binarize so that's it so simple to experiment with binarization uh, we check with simple thresholding algorithm for binarization with adaptive thresholding as well and also we learned one more thing is how to convert the color image into uh, grayscale image thank you so much for watching the video and i hope to see you in next videos